Okay, guys, welcome. Today we're going to talk about Fermat's little theorem. Okay, so if P is a prime and A is an integer, then P divides A to that prime minus one. And sometimes this is stated as A to the P is congruent to A mod P, right? So it's another way that, um, that that can be stated. Now, in order to prove uh, this theorem, we're going to need the following lemma. Okay, so if P is a prime, and zero is less than k, is less than p, so we have some number k, of course, um, so that the combination is, is valid. Um, we get that p divides p choose k. All right, so the proof of this isn't that bad. Um, first, you just write out the formula for p choose k, which is p factorial over k factorial uh, times p minus k factorial. And of course, we can simplify this by canceling some of the factorials here. And the top will eventually become p uh, times p minus 1 all the way down to p minus k plus 1 because everything else will cancel out with p minus k factorial. And then the bottom, we're just left with k factorial. Now, p divides the numerator and not the, de the denominator, right? So we get that p times an integer k is equal to p, this, th this thing that we have, right, which is p choose k once we simplified it. And k is just this integer made by these factorials here, right? So then we get that p divides p choose k, okay? Now the proof of Fermat's little theorem will be based on induction on, induction on a, okay? Now if a is equal to zero, then this is trivially, trivially true, right? So we're going to now move to the inductive case. So we're gonna assume that A is positive, right? So it's not the base case anymore. And we're gonna let A be equal to B plus one, okay? So what we're really gonna do is we're gonna show this is true. We assume it's true for B and show it's true for A plus, uh, B plus one. And we wanna show that it's true for A, which is B plus one. Well, a to the p minus a is equal to b plus 1, right? This is just substituting b plus 1 for a. And now using the binomial theorem, we can expand out the b plus 1 to the p by using these binomial coefficients. And then we just distribute the negative to these two terms, giving us minus b minus 1. Now, of course, what will happen here is that we will, um, we're gonna bring this minus b in with the b to the p, and the one will cancel with this negative one here, right? So then we get all these binomial coefficients here, and then b to the p minus b. Now we know that b to the p minus b is divisible by p from the induction hypothesis, right? Because we're assuming that it's true for b. Now, of course, all these other terms are binomial coefficients that start at p choose one, which is p, and end at p choose p minus one, which is also p. So all the other terms are divisible by p as well, right? So now we've shown that a to the p minus a is also divisible by a. Now, Euler's theorem is a generalization of Fermat's little theorem, but we won't prove it, we'll just state it. Um, and that's that if n is greater than one and the GCD of a and n is also equal to one or a and n are relatively prime, then a to the phi of n is congruent to one mod n, all right? And these are su uh, two results that we'll use quite a bit uh, when we study cryptography, all right? Um, so that concludes this video on Fermat's little theorem. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.